What speaks to you? If I say so myself. I don't suppose you could try keeping that clean. That looks amazing. Don't forget to wash your hands. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, it sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. Will you focus on your damn job and You quit that shit. I mean it. He went to war with Uncle and walked away. Maybe. Uncle hadn't seen straight in years. As long as father lives him, so do we. He will stop talking. Focus and help me find them. You can't disappoint father. <laughs> no, no, we cannot disappoint. Keep looking. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Finally, a challenge. I can't remember the last time we faced an actual challenge. Oh, you call this a challenge? An old man and this steel-born... <laughs> I'll take the run. <laughs> 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 
Does Odin want? Don't know. Don't care. Come here, half breed. You're done holding Daddy's hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! Looks like they need another lesson. Lad. He's trying to rally up. 
the coffin for blood. The boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be all right. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. Magically locked. Enough. Should do. With that, we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. That he did. He was a god, but you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps, but I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> Sendry, could you take a look at this? Honestly? I don't have much else going on right now. Wait, we were here before. But which way back? I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. <laughs> if so, then keep up. Yes, sir. Magni 
he didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. What? What is this place? Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. Find a way across. There's a path to the exit on the other side. There's a rope up there. <laughs> That did it.
Back under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Rode a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Yacht Knight, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye. But his hidden boat is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his tent, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Loon of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. It seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. A rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married... Ooh, Tyr's vault is behind that magical lock. Setting foot in Tears Vault. 